Should I scare you? No. Hey Pod Squad, welcome back to another episode on exploring the nine podiatric medical schools. Today we'll be talking about Des Moines University featuring William. William is unique in that he knows the ins and outs about his school and again, we didn't know him before and he was nice enough when we reached out to the different social media for Des Moines University. He came out and said that he would love to help us out. So thank you again, William, and let's do this. Hi, Yona and Diksha. How's it going? Thank you so much for having me on your channel. In case you don't know me, my name is William Buitron. I am currently a second year student here at Des Moines University College of Podiatric Medicine and Surgery. And today, I will answer some of your questions about DMU. Real quick disclaimer right there. I'm currently employed by admissions here at Des Moines University. So what I'm about to share with y'all does not have to do anything with the admissions. They are incredible people, they do incredible jobs, but what I'm sharing is just really purely from an experience of a second year student who only have one year down under his belt. And um, so really, um, just from my personal experience. What is the area like? Things to do, eat, safety, and weather. By the way, also I have my laptop with me in front of me, so I'm gonna look back and up and down a lot. So I apologize up front. Um, area, um, so the city of Des Moines is a very typical um, Midwest uh, city in my opinion. Um, uh, the school is not too far away from the downtown, so it's great, um, um, you know, for uh, any like restaurants downtown. Uh, we have a couple of really good restaurants, and um, I, I think the city itself is pretty safe. The school is pretty safe, in my opinion. Um, weather, like, uh, well, I mean, like other Midwest cities, we do have snow in the winter, so that is no surprising for most of y'all. Um, and I think the summer is pretty hot and nice, so I wouldn't complain. Um, but a couple of weeks ago, uh, in case you know, we do have the rain show that swept through uh, the city. Uh, if you're not from Midwest, the rain show is the equivalent of tornado, tornadoes. Um, so yeah, that was some fun at all. Um, my apartment, we lost electricity for probably two days, um, uh, which is I'm grateful for. Otherwise, I know that a couple of my friends didn't have power back on to like a week or so. So we occasionally gonna have some sort of derangos, uh, like heavy rain type of thing like that. But otherwise, couldn't complain too much about the weather here. What is the living situation like? Rising distance from school. So I live right across the campus. Um, so that's kind of nice um, in terms of like if you have like that a.m. you know uh, in the morning, then you can sleep in a little bit and just make it on time since you live so close on campus. It, it's pretty uh, affordable here at first for the the price. Um, uh, I share an apartment with my roommate who happened to be one of my classmates, so we can have the extra bonding. Uh, both of us um, pay seven fifty per month, so that is three what three twenty five between us. So I think it's very affordable living here in in Des Moines, Iowa. So yeah, another thing that I couldn't complain about DMU. Grocery stores. So we do have a couple of uh, grocery around here. Uh, we do have Bright Shoppers, uh, which is down the road, and then we also have Walmart and Hy-Vee. Um, so those are really typical grocery store. I we do also do have Costco uh, in West Des Moines, which is like 15 minutes driving. So pretty much the city has everything that, that you can have. Class size and what classes do you take first year? Um, so first of all, uh, for DBM 23, we have 53 members. Um, I believe that um, the dean is trying to increase in class size for the next couple of years. Uh, I know that the class under us, DPM 24, they, they have 59 um, and I think the goal is to shoot for that 60. Uh, so this is amazing because we have more available seats for all of you as a potential uh, prospective students. Um, so the first, for, for the fall semester, you're going to have biochemistry, anatomy, um, cell biology, um, principal project medicines, and clinical medicine. So those are pretty much five classes you're in the in the fall and in spring, you're gonna have uh, microbiology, physiology, 
uh, clinical medicine again and uh, neuroanatomy so those are the classes that you are taking for the first year do you have research opportunities at your school and does your school have a research lab yes we do have a uh, couple of students participating in, in research projects with uh, the faculties here at uh, DMU CBMS. Uh, unfortunately, with the first year, you are, re you are required not to have um, any projects at all, uh, any extra works, just because they want you to focus on school first. The goal is to try to get through the first year, so there wasn't any opportunities in terms of research, uh, uh, like TAing, I, I, I believe so. But we do have, uh, starting on that summer of the second year, then you can um, reach out to one of the faculty that you know you like, and then you express your interest about the research you're doing and that is how that you kind of partner up and and I think that our associate dean for academic Dr. Graham Bart uh, is setting up a track uh, a research track uh, for for second and third year so many more opportunities to come um, and yes, we do have a research lab. Uh, it's currently on the fourth floor of a clinic. Um, I think that lab have like testing machine and all the cadaveric lab. Uh, so do you have clubs at your school and how active are they? So within the College of Project Medicine advocacy, we do have active, uh, we do have seven active clubs. Um, and I'm actually participate, I'm the president of the Project Medicine advocacy. So we have a special interest group uh, that fall under Student Government Association, or SGA. Um, so uh, we do a lot of um, advocacy, advocacy and educational events um, across pretty much the state of Iowa. So we do go to school, uh, here um, around Des Moines area, like middle school, high school, and colleges to really talk about project medicine and the impact of it to the, 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 the public, really. Um, so yeah, I, I think we, we do have, and each club do, does have different things, you know, um, uh, like um, AAWP, they, they hosting a Goldman project medicine. Uh, they, they hosting like several events, things like that, and then act form. Uh, is doing like casting and all the things so we each club have their own things uh, and it runs year round so super active I would say. Um, do you have a gym and a cafeteria located on campus? So yes we do have a gym and we do have a cafe so I attached the uh, cafe picture right there and then we also have a gym. Are there any are there any academic support for students? Yes, we do have um, uh, resources for for academic uh, support. So uh, we do have tutor center here, and then we also have um, I don't know how we have to put it. It's it's sort of like a staff to help you to, uh, you know figure it out what is the best way for you for learning and um, you know how to achieve, uh, achieve a better grade in, in certain course. So we do have that uh, on, on the side. Uh, I'm not sure if it's free or you have to pay a fee for that. Are there any counseling services for students? Um, we do have uh, counseling services. Um, it, it's on the academic center, I believe fifth floor. Um, so that is where you can set up appointment ahead of the time with one of the counselor and um, they, they are really trained in you know emotional and uh, burnout those typical medical st uh, topics then they, they can help you out for sure so I haven't utilized this service before um, I think I'm doing okay as far as like emotional and, um, and, and things like that so I haven't checked them out yet, but I heard a lot of great feedbacks from the counselors, and they also sent out a mass email um, once a while, you know, talking about the service and what they have offering. So. Most favorite part about your school? Wow. Um, so I I think that that is a really interesting question. Um, I think that whenever you go, I think the people really makes a difference uh, in terms of the experience that you have and, and you know the interaction. So so I definitely think that um, Des Moines University has the greatest people. Um, uh, I mean, it sounds a little bit cheesy, but uh, from the admissions staff, from the bookstore staff, like cafeteria, wherever you go, you see a genuine, nice people that are really willing to help you. And then that also happened into my classmates and then you know, the upperclassmen uh, within the college itself. Um, everyone are eager to help you out. Uh, it's just a matter that if you want to ask 
find help or not, but they, uh, people are very looking out for each other, for sure, uh, here at the Moore University. There's a school have a special group to help spouses or family members for acclimating to medical school. Uh, I'm not sure about this, to be honest with you, but uh, I remember during my orientation event, we do have events um, that, uh, you know, gathering all the spouses and, and they kind of have a talk, uh, you know, because we are literally on the same boat and, and, and you know, just kind of share that experience, how they deal with things. And uh, once in a while, I do know that there is a certain event from the Center of Diversity office. Uh, to host event uh, for, for the spouses to get together. So, yeah. Georgia School offers scholarships. Uh, I do get scholarship for my first year, uh, which is super nice um, because, okay, and medical school is expensive, so the more dollars that you save, the less you have to pay back. Um, we, I, I think DMU did a really good job with the scholarship. Um, I, I don't hear any really complaints about you know, the, the, the financial aid or things like that. Um, they, they did a pretty good job here at, at DMU. Do you need a car? Is there public transportation? So let's tackle with the public transportation first. Uh, we do have public transportation here. We do have a bus here. However, most of my friends choose to um, live close by campus. So like little, literally within uh, walking distance, two or three minutes. So you don't have to have a car. But in my opinion, um, it's kind of nice to have a car so then you can, you know, run the errands uh, in the weekend or, you know, run the downtown. And in the summer, we do have like a uh, farmer market, which is shut down due to COVID this year. But that is why I did last semester, uh, last year, when we, we just utilized, you know, a nice day outside and just being outside and uh, enjoy with people uh, and good food. So having a car is not required, but I would highly recommend to have a car here at DMU. Is there any jobs that student can take on as first years in the school? Like I mentioned before, I work in, I'm currently employed by the admission team, so uh, usually I will interview a lot of students and I uh, also have assist admissions with, you know, any like mailing, postcards, things like that. So due to COVID, the interview part is pretty much online right now. So what I'm doing is uh, really writing postcards. I also TA for um, anatomy and clinical medicines. So that takes a lot of chunks of my time too. So yes, we do have a variety of jobs here. Most of my friends uh, work at a librarian in the library and then uh, a couple of them work at the uh, wellness center. How often are certain facilities open for students, uh, labs, teams. Um, so with the wellness center, they open Monday through Sunday. Uh, I think the hours Monday to Wednesday, uh, Friday is 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. And uh, Sunday and Saturday would be 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. So those are the hours. Uh, I'm not sure about the, the, the lab since I don't do research that much. So yeah, I'm not sure about the labs. Does your school have any special ties with residency programs? Um, we do have really strong alumni associations here at CBMS. So uh, weekly we, we host this uh, virtual event uh, for residency to come and talk about the program. Um, we, I don't think that we have a really strong ties uh, per se, unless up to my knowledge, uh, I'm probably wrong about this. Um, but we do have residency program here at uh, I would say Unity right here in town. Uh, I think Dr. Eric Temple is the residency director there. That is pretty much how far I know about in terms of residency. Uh, I think most popular residency that that the alumni that match in uh, usually like around the Midwest, a uh, um, couple in Florida, a couple in um, Seattle, for example, and a um, um, couple in DC as well. Uh, can you add any other info that you think could help prospective students? Um, I, I, I think that as far as um, getting to know the school and uh, you know try to figure it out which school fits the best for you. I would say that utilize the interviewing opportunities. I know everything is online right now, but um, if you can reach out to the students at that school, reach out to the dean 
dean, um, other even faculties uh, at that school, and just really figure it out the curriculum does it really fit you? Because I and then I do understand that each school have the, a little bit uh, different interpretation in terms of curriculum. Also, the students uh, make it different there. Uh, how's the student like? Do they really align with what you you know are and? and what you do, what you want to do, kind of things. And then looking for, if you want to take a step further, look for the residency outcome, right? Um, like how many uh, residents, uh, how many students, um, graduate students match into the, the residency. Things like that. I think most of the school doing really well with this, but there will be school that coming, you know, out stronger. So those are factors that you kind of look for uh, when you come to do that to school, you know, the culture there, the outcome of the residency and um, and how can you fit into to the school itself. That is all I have about um, Des Moines University. Um, I hope that this video uh, helped you a little bit and thank you again Yona and Diksha for inviting me and reaching out to me uh, for this wonderful collab. So looking forward to your next video. Bye!